Traders, my name is Gregor Horat and welcome to a new video update in which we will take a look today on dollar yen, S&P 500 and also dollar index. On dollar index I will present you the primary wave count that we are tracking now for some time and also some alternate counts for dollar index. So firstly let's take a look on dollar yen here. As you know uh, we have turned bullish on dollar yen after this consolidation um, uh, at the start of May um, and of course we were looking higher um, for a final push higher after a triangle in wave 4 okay because we know that triangles occurs prior to the final move of the larger pattern okay so this was our larger pattern so after this breakout we of course were looking lower but because of the larger uh, wave pattern the larger wave structure um, we anticipate a, a more important top here and possibly larger uh, decline that could be already unfolding so i'm talking here about ending diagonal placed in red wave 5 okay here i labeled that this could be a top of a wave c of an extended wave c but uh, i also am tracking this alternate count which suggests that this was only a temporary top of a blue wave free and that we are headed only lower uh, in a corrective phase which will be wave 4 okay but at the moment this is not really important okay we need to focus on the structures and the the price that is unfolding right now okay so we can leave the larger picture on the sideline for now and focus on the current uh, price action so with that in mind, I think that uh, current weakness could extend much deeper, even if we are headed lower in impulsive fashion, very strongly, or just in a temporary way for. Okay, um, the very important is that in ending diagonals, when ending diagonal will complete, okay, um, then usually a change in trend will be very strong. Okay, so I can already see here uh, some increase in volume. Um, I can also see that price is approaching to very important swing low of this wave 4. Why this is very important? Well, when you see a break and a daily close below uh, wave 4 support of this ending diagonal, then this is usually a trigger for more weakness. Okay, in such case, I would expect a retracement back to the start point of an ending diagonal okay because when ending diagonal is finished you will usually see a retracement back towards this level okay of a start point of wave one which was part of this ending diagonal okay so uh, with that in mind with uh, i think that this dollar uh, that this dollar yen could reach much lower levels okay and even if we are just in temporary correction correction or maybe some more aggressive bearish uh, decline okay uh, so for now i will stick to the bearish view but of course we need to uh, keep an eye a close eye on uh, the invalidation levels on the smaller time frames okay uh, and here I have the 4 hour chart, if you recall, I also recorded the video, uh, I guess it was 2-3 weeks back, when you mentioned that all structures will usually unfold in minimum 3 waves, okay, at that time we, we mentioned that this was only wave A down and um, that si sideways price action, a pullback that was unfolding at the time is probably just wave B and that we will see still a third leg to the downside. Well this wave B was a flat correction because this leg was in three waves then this move into a new extreme was in three waves and this was a five wave rally. Okay so this was a top of a wave B or maybe even a wave 2. We don't know uh, which wave is correct labeling but we need to focus on the wave structure that's, that is unfolding now okay and we will figure the right wave count later so even if we are in a wave 3 down or wave c down of a cor corrective retracement i think there is more downside for dollar yen because we know that wave c and wave 3 are both corrective uh, sorry are both <laughs> impulsive legs which means they must be subdivided by five waves okay so we will stick to the bearish view here uh, until we get five waves down for now i can see here only first leg down wave two pullback and now uh, this appears to be blue wave three in progress and the reason why i like this structure and this idea for a, a blue wave three in progress is of course this 
uh, sharp fall that has occurred today okay through 100 level so i think there is potential for more downside here um, but i want to see price to stay below 100 level okay uh, on a daily close basis or uh, below 100.50 which was um, the low point of this uh, blue wave one okay because we know that any upcoming fourth wave must not retrace into the territory of our wave one so actually i will stick to the bearish view and uh, if we will get um, maybe another day or two of this strong bearish price action then i think that we are probably in wave three and not wave c because in such case we would approach this 161.8 uh, percent um, extension target which is typical target for wave three uh, of a five wave movement okay and you can see clearly here that we already reached this typical target for wave c where wave c will equal to wave a so because we are now breaking through this level I think there are more chances that we are trading impulsively uh, so that's for dollar yen and now let's take a look also on the s p 500 as you know these markets are trading very tightly together in the same direction both have turned bearish and um, as you know we have also highlighted this bearish view and potential reversal into a corrective pullback uh, two weeks back when we noted that um, we have five waves up in wave three blue wave three which tested this 161.8 percent extension of wave one measured from this wave two low this is very important fibonacci extension level and uh, of course we were ready for a reversal which is now already unfolding and again in last week in our video analysis as you remember we mentioned that this market should extend beneath uh, this uh, swing low why because at that time we had only one leg down and we had three waves up okay and as soon as we have seen an overlap with this red wave a we were even more sure that this market should be headed lower because this was only a corrective rally okay so at that time we were anticipated a third leg of decline uh, counted from that high this was only first leg this was the second leg wave two or wave b that's not important we were looking for a third leg down okay we still don't know if we are in a wave c or if we are in a wave three of a larger five wave decline okay both wave counts are possible but because the price is falling um, and because we have seen here a uh, break away gap I think there are uh, there are more chances that we will see lower levels so of course I want to stray to stay with the sentiment which is clearly bearish at the moment okay so I will look lower here possibly test for this 138.2 percent extension level measured of this uh, wave one or wave a um, and will remain bearish as long the market is trading below this just let me move this below this swing low okay why this swing low is important well if we are maybe in a wave three an extended wave three then we know that this extended wave three should be subdivided by five smaller waves so this was then wave one wave two okay wave three wave four pullback could all be could already be unfolding here and we know that in such case uh, sorry wave 4 pullback wave 4 pullback must not retrace this black wave 4 into the territory of this wave 1 okay so that's why this level is very important if we will see uh, from any reason a sharp reversal and uh, an overlap with this level then we will know that this decline was only temporary corrective movement and that bulls are back in progress in such case traders investors will be interested again in long positions okay but for now this market is failing and i see um, um, room for much lower levels here either it's in wave three or wave c i will be uh, keeping an eye on a five waves of decline from here okay um, so that's for the s p 500 and now let's take a look the us dollar index as you know dollar um, moved significantly lower over the last few days and uh, actually if you recall we 
labeled here end of this huge wave B triangle at 78.90 and we mentioned that this market um, is probably on the way higher because of this uh, broken trend line and also because of the spike through this uh, through this uh, swing high okay of a wave b so of course we are looking higher here uh, actually this is not the right count uh, this should be the right count okay actually it's the same was very similar not the same we are looking higher here because we think that this um, wave b triangle is complete here well on a daily chart we mentioned last week that this was probably wave one only first leg of a larger new five wave cycle in a red wave c this would be uh, this red wave c and um, we noted that market is now approaching to some important 50 percent and 61.8 percent fibonacci support levels okay these are typical levels for wave two well on uh, this dollar index four hour chart uh, we can see that uh, market has fallen sharply today okay and this move actually i don't like this structure uh, because this is not so something that i want to see at the end of wave c at the end of wave c if the move is counter trend i want to see slower price action lower volume and then a sharp reversal higher and not lower okay um, however this is actually still a free wave movement okay it actually it's not the free wave uh, it can be a free wave if this wave C will be maybe a little bit more extended, okay? Um, but the fact is that uh, I'm always repeating that when we have a counter trend movement, okay, we know that price should stay within this trading channel. This is parallel trend line, which I put it at the end of this wave A, okay? So, in a counter trend movements, we know that this price should stay in a wave C, okay, uh, within this trading channel. So, actually, in corrective pullback, you would anticipate a reversal from this trend line, okay, an impulsive reversal that will then confirm your wave count, and, and you would, of course, be interested in long opportunities. Well, notice that actually this market went sharply through this lower support line of this trading channel so actually this is probably uh, i see chances chances that this is not a corrective channel so maybe it's a base channel because we know that in a base channel the volume a breakout out of this base channel the volume and momentum are increasing and this typically represents wave 3 of a 5 wave movement and not wave C so that's um, that that's the reason why I don't like this sharp fall that we have seen today okay so um, of course this count even if the market went through these levels through this support it remains valid as long this wave 2 will trade abo above this critical level because we know that wave 2 must not retrace more than 100 or percent of wave 1 okay so but that's are basically rules okay we need to focus on the personality of the price action okay and to read the wave count correctly so with that in mind i prepared some alternate views and let's take a look now on wave count from the weekly chart down to the four hour just let me find uh, okay here we have firstly let's take a look here on the weekly chart alternate counts for dollar index uh, these alternate counts will actually is still bullish on the long term uh, but it's we are allowing for a deeper pullback in coming weeks okay um, that's the only difference between this wave count and the primary that i showed you just now so here on dollar index weekly count we can see first leg down sharp wave b rally then third leg down so i label this as a completed wave b pullback okay and then from this uh, point i labeled uh, as a leading diagonal in wave one then as a f uh, flat correction in wave two and now this part is very interesting where i can count um, i can label a leading diagonal in wave one that is part of this huge black wave three so 
this wave count is actually still bullish for the US dollar index but we could see a deeper corrective pullback in this wave too where invalidation level is um, at this 78.40 okay so this pullback can retrace much deeper and if we go to the daily chart you can see here this leading diagonal okay wave 1 wave 2 wave 3 wave 4 wave 5 and this sharp fall um, represents only first lack of this wave 2 pullback because wave 2 should be structured by three legs okay so i think this is wave a as i said wave b and we will see then wave c fall down to this wave 4 swing lows on possibly even towards these levels this swing high and uh, where we can see also this 61.8 percent um, uh, retracement area compared to this wave one rise okay so this remember this is just an alternate count okay but i really like it but i still want to wait uh, more uh, more time more days before i go and switch the primary to uh, the primary counts okay um, and now let's take a look also on the four hour chart and notice here that uh, as i said if we are in a wave a we know that wave a is first leg of a free wave pullback and ideally the we will see a zigzag in wave 2 pullback zigzag has a structure 5 3 5 which means 5 waves down in wave A free wave pullback in wave B and then again 5 waves down in wave C that's a structure for zigzags so uh, if this count will prove correct then this was wave 1 wave 2 and now we are trading lower in uh, in impulsive extended wave 3 which is part of this incomplete wave A okay and then we'll see a wave for pullback and then a final leg down in wave A so I like this wave count why because as, as I said in impulsive formations you will tend to see an increase in volume and in impulsive structures you will tend to see a break through the lower side in a bearish trend uh, you will tend to see a break through the lower side of this trading channel and this breakout is usually your confirmation that this is not a wave c part of a counter trend movement but it's probably wave free of impulse new impulsive bearish trend okay so that's why i mentioned earlier that this strong sell-off is very concerning uh, for dollar bulls and uh, it seems that we could see more weakness here within this wave 3 okay which could be part of this wave red wave a uh, in validations levels for this wave count are could be here okay at uh, uh, at 883 why because if this is sub wave um, to uh, sub wave one low of this wave three then we know that coming wave four bounce must not retrace uh, into territory of this wave one just let me label this wave count real quick okay so this could be wave one wave two wave three wave four so if we uh, will see deeper levels here in wave four uh, sorry uh, yes deeper levels in wave 4 then we know that wave 4 of course must not retrace above these levels if this level will be breached then this wave count will be invalid and in such case um, this would be good for our primary wave count and then we would of course look higher for US dollar index with the wave counts that we are tracking for some time now but as i said this is only alternate count i like this wave count we'll keep a very close eye on it we'll also uh, also um, published it on the website on our elliot wave counts page as an alternate count and we'll also prepare the alternate counts for the euro dollar as well because as you know if this market will make a deeper free wave retracement uh, in this uh, wave two then of course euro dollar will probably just let me check on the other platform here then euro dollar will probably test 1.330 levels okay um, so that that's what i have right now the markets are are not so easy to trade actually 
the reason I think is the stock market because the stock market is weakening the FX market does not follow uh, so it's pretty hard to to, to take advantage of these moves that we are seeing globally okay um, okay traders that's it for now and I will catch you with new updates on the intraday updates or I will see you tomorrow have a good day